Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Eastern Desert, southeast of Scavenger's Birth, building a beach house. This build was suggested by the Exiled V2 on my Thieves Guild build guide, so thank you for the suggestion, Exiled. As usual, this build was previously streamed live on Twitch, so if you want to see builds being constructed in real time before they make it over to YouTube, feel free to drop me a follow on Twitch. Also, of course, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn how you can unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. This is a fairly small and quite straightforward build that I'm actually really happy with. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we'll be starting off with, of course, the base plate. I wanted to make a multi-level build with various different areas to take advantage of the environment. I started off by building a small veranda next to the ocean, and then using fence foundations to build up the rest of the house, using walls and wooden ceilings where necessary to create the floor of the home. The suggestion asked for sandstone and thatch, so I've opted to use wooden floors also to aid in that sort of rustic feel, which I think actually makes for quite a nice material combination. Next, I started off on the walls. I opted to use windows as often as possible throughout the build to get some natural light into the build, and again take advantage of the environment. Fortunately, sandstone window frames are actually quite wide and they let in a lot of light and let you see out, so these are probably one of the better window options. I also used doorways to mark the entrances to separate rooms, and made a small corridor from the bottom side room through to the back veranda. I then built the walls up two tiles high for each room. Next for the first floor. I built the stairs up and then covered the walls with wooden ceilings then building a 3x3 room on the first floor for the main bedroom. Thank you. 
I then proceeded on to make the roofs. I wanted to aim for a multi-height roof layout to get some depth and fluidity within the build, and thus I built roofs of various designs and heights to cover the walls, then building awnings on the front and back verandas. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I flipped the house delicately with bracketed wall torches to get a rustic yet very gentle light that doesn't overpower the natural tones of this build. Entering the home, we firstly reach the living area. This is where the food is cooked and served, and also where the resident would relax after a hard day or work on small hobby projects at the artisan table. Heading into the left side room, this is a small workshop. This build doesn't warrant a full multi-practice workshop, but having a furnace and a blacksmith's bench makes a lot of sense for a self-sustaining exile. Heading into the right side, we reach a small guest bedroom that can be used by, of course, a guest. This room also connects to the veranda through a small storage corridor, and the veranda, furthermore, has access to the beach, where fish can be caught by the traps left here in the shallow waters. Heading upstairs we reach the top balcony and the bedroom. This bedroom is designed to be comfortable for the residents, offering a nice, cosy, warm place to sleep at night.
And there we have it, a beach home in the eastern desert, southeast of Scavenger's Birth. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to the Exiled V2 for the suggestion. Though it was a really simple build brief, this was something that I actually really enjoyed. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, all whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income. So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown most of us are still in, the video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, and Daniel Dahlgreen. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.